Breaking news in the case of a Hamilton County juvenile judge, the Ohio Supreme Court taking her off the bench for now in light of today's criminal indictment. Judge Hunter was indicted on eight counts. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with more on the charges and what people are saying about Judge Hunter. Tom? Well, Clyde, Judge Hunter's backers are going to be gathering here tomorrow in Forest Park at the Word of Deliverance Church to plan a legal defense fund. National Atchison Network leaders say they're stunned by that eight-count indictment, which includes charges of forgery and theft in office. They're very, very serious, but those backers say they're going to defend the judge's reputation. Controversy began for Tracy Hunter when she first ran for juvenile judge in 2010. The election was decided in the courts over counting of provisional ballots. Then she allegedly didn't keep a current docket, backdated documents, and was found in contempt for keeping WCPO and Inquirer reporters out of hearings. Those were all civil matters. Now the stakes are higher, serious felony criminal charges. Tampering with evidence, she's accused of backdating documents to make it appear that her docket was current. Forgery, she's accused of signing those documents in July of August of 2013. Having unlawful interest in a public contract, she's accused of paying her brother to work in her courtroom. Theft in office, she's accused of using her county credit card to charge $1,100 in filing fees for appeals when she was sued. She twice needed medical attention in her courtroom because of what her supporters say was stress from continued attacks. They claim the judge hasn't been treated fairly and want justice served. I'm appalled. I believe it's a travesty. And my question is, where's the kitchen sink? Everything's been thrown except the kitchen sink. And this has been an assault against this judge since 2010, when uh, everything possible was done. Spent almost $2 million of taxpayer money trying to stop this judge from being seated. When that didn't work, the attacks continue. And hey, one thing I know is the truth is what makes one free. Now, I spoke by phone to Richard Blake, Judge Hunter's criminal attorney. He's in Los Angeles today. He told me he's shocked by the indictments, but doesn't want to comment further until he has a chance to study them in greater detail. Coming up new at 6, the political implications all this provides. Tom McKean, 9 on your side, live in Forest Park.